Welcome back trainers and today we're going to be taking a look at Buzzwool in the Ultra League Halloween Cup and we're going to be using Shadow Shiny Caesar yet again and pairing it up with also Crobat having a good lead up against Togekiss and they're swapping into Nidoqueen. So Buzzwool, let's see what it could do. Always been a solid Pokemon but it has a lot to look out for especially fairy types. Specifically, Charm, obviously, right? Nidoqueen is going to be a bit of a, an issue as well, as all of the moves are going to be resisted. But we do have Crobat as well as the Caesar to take care of that. So, folks, if you do enjoy my videos, give it a thumbs up. Really do appreciate it. Just takes a second. And let's see what we have going on here. So, they're bringing back the Togekiss. We farm them down, have a ton of energy ready to go. So, we're going to just start throwing these Poison Fangs left and right. Hoping I was going to be able to farm them down and throw a Poison Fang onto whatever it was in the back. Unfortunately, not. Since they only have one left, I'm able to wait for them to uh, actually, they don't even get to choose. Once their Pokemon is thrown out, I get to pick which one. We're going to go with the Buzzwool so we can just go ahead and lower their attack as much as possible here. And even a Sludge Bomb is not going to really do it. So they throw a Mud Bomb, maybe try to get a shield, and then they back out. We take the win with two shields. Let's go. Moving it on to our next one, leading with the Caesar the entire time. Met with a Jeff Blim. All right, so we're going to be doing a lot of damage with the Night Slash here. If they hit me with an Icy Wind, that's not very effective. Shadow Ball is essentially going to KO us. It'll bring us down to one more quick move, and we're out of here, right? So we're going to go ahead and let it go and call the Icy Wind. And there you go. Our attack has been dropped. And they're going to be able to take this Night Slash now, even though we're Shadow. Unfortunately, we did not get the attack boost for the first one here. And they're actually going to be using Bolt Shield. So now they're shieldless. We've got two shields. I think it's about time we start to use those. Can we get to a Night Slash? They swap into Muck. I build up a little bit more energy and swap into Buzzwool. It's, it's time to shine. Let's go. We have one shield left. This thing is amazing. All right. I mean, it's just straight up. I love to use this thing. I have one in every cup, including a level 51, 100% IV in the Master League, which actually performs quite nicely there if you do get the alignment correct, right? So we're up against this mug doing a good amount of damage. We did lower the attack, hitting me with a Dark Pulse. We survive. Can we farm him down? I don't think it was going to happen. So we, <laughs> I'm just throwing this so we don't lose the swap here. Taking out the muck, unfortunately not farming them down. They bring in the Drift Blim, and we're bringing in the Caesar to go for the Night Slash right away. We're going to be able to win that CMP. And is it enough? Down they go. They have a Escavalier in the back, and we have the Crobat, and that's a wrap, folks. They back out. They know it's over, and we take that win. Moving it on to our next battle here. What is that Caesar going to be met with? A Escavalier coming back for some revenge. It said, I'm not done with you, boy. All right, so I'm thinking, oh... Uh, Swap it a Crobat here, I suppose, because Buzzwool is actually going to be able to wall it as well, unless they do have Aerial Ace, right? That's going to do a lot of damage. All right, so we're up against the Drapion here, and they're going for the Crunch. No defense drops, so we're good to go. We can let this next one go and kind of not have to worry about it because their quick attack is not really doing much, so uh, resist it. Going for another Poison Fang so we can take them out with our quick... I keep calling it quick attack. You know what I mean. With our Air Slash. Okay. So they're going to be able to get to another charge move. I decide to shield this up and see if I can farm them down. And I do. Okay. Beautiful. We're going to throw a Poison Fang. I don't care about the Shadow Ball. I just want to lower the defense on whatever they're bringing in here. Escavalier. And we're still getting a shield. Let's go. Buzzwool. Let's go, buddy. Now, hopefully they do not have Aerial Ace. If they do, we're in big trouble. Hitting me with a drill run. Not very effective. Let's go. And they swap into their own Crobat, which is also purified. Very nice. I keep getting the question, why is it purified? Because the IVs are now better for it. This league. That's all. That is it. <laughs> it had like, uh, I just wanted to bring up the defense in the HP. So purifying, purifying it helped me do that. So yeah, there we are. Uh, anyways, we kind of need to win this matchup here. We got the attack raised. Now they're going to be able to farm us down, but not before we get to a Night Slash, which is going to be boosted. So they're definitely going to be shielding that up. So the Buzzwool doesn't really have to worry here. They can't take us out with Mega Horn or Drill Run unless they have Aerial Ace. Mega Horn, still not enough. Getting to the Superpower and the Showcase Pokemon is going to be able to take the win. This thing is just, looks ridiculous. Looks ridiculous. If you haven't seen the movie Fly Kids, go check it out. Good uh, Halloween time movie. Kind of old, so I don't know how much you're going to like that. Anyways, we got another mirror match with the Caesars here, except for this time... It's not going to be Shadow on their end. So we're going to be getting the attack boost. Oh, that's fantastic. I do decide to shield this up. Kind of preserve that health here. That's going to do a lot while we do get the attack boost. And they're going to be able to get to their charge move first. We're going to be able to survive this, though. Okay, can we farm them down and then just start throwing attacks at whatever they bring in here? So we're going to go straight for the x Scissor on this muck, which is going to do a decent amount. Check this out. Look at that. Crazy. And we're getting to another one. Are you kidding me? Caesar is on fire. 
is this a buzzwall video or or a Caesar video? What's going on here? Uh, so we do want to bring in the buzzwall here, okay? Because dark, you know, the poison is gonna hurt, but you know, they might have uh, acid spray. There you go, beautiful. Go ahead and hit me with another one of those, or not? Can't even get to another one. We're farming them all the way down. Going for a superpower here, didn't really want to do that. Kind of a little bit of a screw up on my end, but that's okay. Going for that and now going to go for the lunge here and Buzzwell flexing on the Drapion. <laughs> I do want to shield this up because I want to keep it alive, I think. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and then I swap into the Crobat here and we take that win looking good. All right, folks, if you haven't hit that like button, make sure you do. I really appreciate it. Next battle met with a Crobat. We're going to be taking a lot of damage from that Shadow quick move damage i mean oof we are part steel but we still have a little bit of bug in us so it's doing a lot we're getting the boost again this thing is on a roll with that boost so we're gonna go ahead and let it go poison fang calling it very nice and they're gonna be swapping into their own seas or throwing a night slash which is going to dig right in do they have a shadow as well yes and so well they have to shield it up otherwise it's gonna do a lot of damage and now the tide has turned look at this the table has turned or whatever the saying is all right here we are <laughs> <laughs> we are up against their Caesar with our Crobat. Gonna go for the Shadow Ball because they've already used a shield. I don't think they're gonna be obligated to use another one. Still holding on to two shields ourselves and they have a Golurk in the back. This is getting interesting. Unfortunately, not able to get to the Poison Fang. So what's it gonna be? Buzzwool, I think it's your time to shine. Showcase Pokemon, let's go. So we do have to look out for the Shadow Punch, right? Do you believe that's what it is? Yeah, Shadow Punch and then Earth Power, which is not very effective. So Shadow Punch is what they're gonna wanna do. Gonna go for the Lunge to lower that attack. While the counter is not very effective, at least the lunge is doing something. I swap into the Caesar to try to catch, but all that did was give them extra farm. They bring in their Crobat and I farm that thing down. Are you kidding me? We just farmed down a poison and flying type. Had very little health, but we did it. Great. So they have uh, kind of removed their attack debuff. We're going to go ahead and bring that right back up using our last shield to protect ourselves. A Shadow Punch is not going to cut it. And then we're going to actually go for a superpower because, well, Buzzwool just said, yeah, flex on him. I, okay, let's flex on him, Buzzwool. Let's get him. Let's take out this ghost with a superpower here. And we take that win. Let's go. That was a good game there. Moving on to our next opponent, Shadow up against the Gengar. So this is actually a decent matchup here because we're doing so much and getting to the Night Slash so fast here. But they're going to be catching it, which was a very nice catch. And now we have to worry about that Gengar with energy. Caught it with a dark type, Stunky. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring in our Buzzwool. Hitting the lunge before they get to a flamethrower because that's super effective. It's going to be doing a lot. Since it's not Shadow, we don't have to worry about it exactly KOing us. Buzzwool said, hit me. Look at this thing is constantly flexing on everybody. And then it farms it down. Come on, this thing is amazing. So they're entering the battle with a Nido Queen. We're going to bring in our Caesar here because we want the alignment later down the line. So we'll let this first thing go, calling that Poison Fang, it's not very effective, and they're going to be swapping into a Gengar. Now what we're going to have to do is hold on to a shield. So they hit me with Shadow Punch, I don't think they're going to have Shadow Ball, it's going to be a little bit redundant to have three Ghost moves. I figure they're going to be uh, Focus Blast and Sludge Bomb, right? We get to the Night Slash, not able to get it off, that sucks. Bring it in the Crobat, and I'm going to go ahead and call this. I'm going to say it's going to just be a... <laughs> you got it, Shadow Punch. And then farming them down, still have one shield left. Nido Queen is going to have a hard time here. Now, I could have went straight for the Shadow Ball, but I don't care. I don't really need to worry about it too much. Technically, they could still beat me if they go for a Poison Fang and then an Earth Power if we did use our shield. But we're going to be letting that go there. And we'll shield up whatever they do throw next. More than likely, at this point, it is going to be another Poison Fang, right? So this is going to be right down to the wire. This is getting very close. Holding on to the shield at the very last second here, getting to the Poison Fang, and I think we're gonna be winning this with one HP. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll be catching you all next time. Thanks for watching and take care. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done.
<laughs> hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic! Touch the deck. This is the best day of my life.